I'm not a fan of Yext. Uh, I'm not a fan of Yext for a few different reasons. Uh, for those that haven't heard of Yext, um, basically it's a software company. Um, they have software that gets you listed um, in pretty much every uh, online directory that's out there these days. And the main value of it is it's supposed to produce positive search engine optimization results, uh, SEO results. Um, it used to be effective years ago, um, back when there wasn't as much competition, back when there were more local businesses that would uh, actually be listed in Google. Um, but nowadays, there's uh, less real estate in Google, there's less local businesses that pop up. Google Maps used to be seven listings, now it's three. Um, the other main problem that I have with, with the X is the cost. Um, I, I think they charge way too much money for it. If they charge less money for it, I, I'd be more in favor. Um, so there, there's two main problems with it. So the first value is that there's a lot of people that do search engine optimization uh, that would say that uh, having a consistent NAP, uh, name, address, phone number is what NAP stands for. Having a consistent NAP is really important with getting uh, good rankings with, with, uh, with search engine optimization. Um, but the main thing, main problem still is, is the lack of real estate on Google and how much competition that there is. So, um, you know, let's say your business, you know, and all the different uh, online directories that are out there, let's say that your name, address, and phone number is consistent, and let's say that, that it does have value. You know, a lot of people in my industry that do search engine optimization do say that, that it has value. So. Um, even if your NAP is the same um, across all the platforms, the main problem is that you're still going to run into an issue where um, there's too much competition that's out there. Like let's say you're a moving company that happens to be in Miami. Um, there's a ton of moving companies in Miami. You're going to have more than five or six or seven uh, local moving companies that are out there that all have a consistent NAP, that all have the same uh, consistent name, address, phone number on all the different directories. So it's one of those things where even if it did have value, um, it doesn't solve the problem that you're, you're not going to be any different um, from your other competitors that are out there. So it's, it's really not going to move the needle because the problem is that there's not enough space. Um, you're going to have more than 10 companies that are out there, 10 of your competitors that are doing the same thing. And it's not really going to make make that much of a difference either way. The other main problem that I have with it is that some people might think like, oh, wow, I'm going to be listed in 200 local directories or 500 local directories or um, however many that it is. Main problem is that nobody knows who these directories are. Um, they have no brand. Nobody knows them. And the dirty little secret for the vast majority of these directories, um, Yelp included, is that the vast majority of their traffic comes from search engines like Google, uh, Yahoo, and Bing as well. Um, that's where they get most of their traffic from. You know, somebody will do a search and um, they'll they'll type in a certain keyword. And sometimes these uh, review websites like Angie's List, like Yellow Pages, um, sometimes they'll pop up on the front page for these keywords, and that's where the traffic comes from. So um, the main directories that really have value are the directories that pop up on the front page when you type in a keyword. So if there's a keyword that's out there, let's say um, somebody types in uh, best moving companies Miami, in that case, um, the directory listing has value if the directory popped up on the front page for that keyword, best moving companies Miami. That's when that directory would have value, but again, you only have um, 10 spots, 12 spots that pop up on the first page of Google. You have more ads popping up now. Um, you have anywhere between three, four, five um, advertisements that'll, that'll pop up. So you have less listings um, and you're only going to have a few of those directories that pop up. So the only directories that really have value to be listed in is, is going to be the listings that pop up on the front page. Um, what Yext won't tell you also is the vast majority of these directories already have your listings in it. Um, the value of Yex is just to double check and make sure that the um, name and phone number and all that stuff is, is accurate and correct. But the vast majority of these directories will, will already create listings for you automatically without you even knowing about it. 
and the vast majority of these directories will have um, accurate information in them. So when you're talking about paying the X money, you know, anytime that you're doing uh, SEO, uh, in search engine advertising, social media marketing, anything like that, you know, when you're doing marketing as a business owner myself, if I'm giving somebody money for marketing, I'm doing it because I want to make more money. I'm doing it because I want to get more customers um, and I'm trying to make a profit off of the marketer's work. So in this case, when you're paying X money, um, the odds of you actually making a profit and making money off of their work is really slim to none. And that's the main reason why I'm not a fan of it. But there's this perception amongst people in my industry that do SEO, that do search engine optimization, um, you know, like, oh yeah, the nap is so great and you gotta have a good nap and your name, address, phone number is gonna be so consistent and you're gonna be listed in all these different directories. And fortunately, there are people out there in the industry that I disagree with that say that, that oh yeah, it's so great and it's worth the money. Um, so, you know, that's why you have business owners that read that and listen to it and think, okay, well, I gotta pay X money. Um, in my 15 plus years experience, um, I, I, I've been in this industry without Yext. Uh, Yext popped up in the beginning. They were more successful because there wasn't as much competition in the search engines. Fast forward to 2017 though, um, there's too much competition. They charge too much money. If they charged less, then there is a possibility that might be a little bit valuable, but they charge too much money. Um, so the odds of you actually making money is, is really not gonna be that great.